Um, hello, how are you? Can you hear me? Hello, babe. What's up? How are you doing? Hello. So I can get on it. You know, I'm going to get on it. 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 My name is Mustafa Budimidala. I am here because of this insurgency. We are here temporarily. It's not our village now. We left our village, Ngamma, Boko Haram crossing the area. But the attack some villages near our village, that is the reason why we carry our property and own and bring it here. So we are living here for more than one year, six months. Our situation that we are now is very, very difficult. I have a lot of family. I have two wives and seven children. This assistance that we receive is very, very important for us. You know everybody here, but the number of the people, they are registered. We must ask you, where are you come from? Who are you? What reason to come here? But we are doing everything together. The hard situation of millions, internally displaced people, has been real bad. Our friends that were actually affected by insurgency too. Seeing this very close to us, from hearing from the news, the TV and seeing them hungry with the plight of um, an increased number of people in need of food and help and seeing how many Nigerians trying to respond to actually support and seeing the cry for the humanitarian organizations and from government bodies it was only natural to respond um, my name is Adein Katimose a VAM officer that's vulnerability analysis and mapping the VAM unit is actually responsible for providing the general overview of food security situation in Nigeria or the region. Um, we go to hard to reach places where accessibility is a problem for us. I followed the trends of commodities in the market. We have um, a device, an Android phone, and in it we have what we call the ODK, the Open Data Kit. It's an electronic data capturing questionnaire. We get prizes on common things like rice, the red beans, the white beans. We get prizes on yam, onions, milk. So we collect those data using the ODK. Then we actually send it via the internet. From this, we are able to understand the price trend. If there is a change in price, what was the reason for this change in price? Maybe due to transport cost, scarcity, so it helps us know when these things increase, you may find people do not have enough food. That means we are having a serious problem with food security. That means there's need. By the day, the needs are actually growing. So there's a general overview where information and data are key. Data collection has improved a lot over the past decade or decade and a half. Back in the day, you would only have an access database or an Excel and manually do the typing. We are now in a period where we're able to use um, ODKs to be able to generate the data automatically that goes straight into the databases. Uh, my name is Henry Quinn, Jr. I'm the DTM program manager for Nigeria. Basically, DTM collects a systematic data of displaced persons, and uh, we regularly share this information with humanitarian partners and the government to assist uh, on how best to support people who have been displaced in the crisis in the country. Numbers alone don't tell the whole story. We do have to make meaning to just have a better understanding of what the numbers tell us. 
just say 20,000 people are displaced. What are the needs? It could be food, it could be shelter. Now, you cannot work based on guesswork. The best way to get this information in real time is through the use of cell phones. Now, considering that we don't have cellular networks everywhere, security is not the same in every location. Uh, some places are tougher to reach. It's really difficult to make any form of assumption or deduction from that area. What do you do? How do you work on this? So satellite imagery also definitely has helped a lot in trying to easily map out these locations and show where we can and cannot go, where you're able to understand the quantity or the percentage of people who may not even be able to make it to the distribution site. And this trend allows you to see how bad the situation was and how much it's improved. We do share information with um, HDX of OCHA, with uh, other organizations who are into humanitarian work. We're looking at connecting all the dots together to give even predictive analysis of what is likely to happen in a place, which better informs responses to be able to be prepared. This is something you couldn't have done a few years ago and that is quite important. We're able to work with certain partners on the ground who are already there, community leaders, faith-based leaders, um, NGOs or whoever is already providing assistance and ensure that we have made a better use of the resources. So in a nutshell, data becomes a very imperative aspect of the work that we do. My name is Martha Philip. I'm a retired nurse. I came from Chupo. And the time that they abducted the Chupo girls, they employed 15 of us and trained us as social workers. That's where we started. When we started having all these camps around, they decided to bring us here to offer the same help to the people here. We want to see that these people are reintegrated into their communities and they have started developing resilience. And at the end of the day, they will be strong. It's through the activities that we carry out that we get the data collection, like uh, how much counseling we have done, on what, how many female attended to, how many male attended to, youth attended to, so we take the data. When I see these numbers, I know that what we give them is not enough. So if we have all the data collected, we have seen improvement, so it's really helping. When we've been able to access these communities, I can tell you, you could actually see how the little that was brought for these people meant a great deal. When I look at the numbers, I see thousands, millions of households in severe need of food assistance, uh, severe need of um, restoration of livelihood. I like the fact that I'm able to guide them and give more room for interventions from other humanitarian actors and the United Nations. So, data, it's actually key for us.